Oh, she ain't cute. Do what I do. All right. Look at nice. Okay. Come through. I don't know if Ryan Garcia taking the fight serious or not. What's up, everybody? It's your man's KJ the Great. up in another edition of All Sports Media TV. But first, I want to say, I hope and pray everything is great your way. Now, let's get to it. Y'all, man, we got some surprising, breaking news in the sport of boxing. As Ryan King Rod, Ryan Garcia, has now tested positive, allegedly for banned substances. Ahead of his biggest fight of his career, the biggest win of his career over Devin the Dream Haney. Ryan Garcia improved to 25 wins, one loss. No draw with 20 wins by way of knockout, handing Devin Haney his first loss of his career. He rocked him very early in that first round, dropped him in the seventh round, uh, dropped him in the uh, tenth and eleventh round, and ultimately won a majority decision in that fight. Wow! 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 You cannot believe this, man. Is this? Turns out to be true. This will further my point that Ryan Garcia needs help. Not just, you know, help with uh, how to make weight, but mental health. Because I kept telling people, the only problem that I have, the antics. And sometimes antics outweigh the sport. You come in three pounds overweight, maybe that's the reason. Maybe the banned substances, maybe not. But through everything, I still thought he would put up a good fight and it would go to decision anyway. I didn't see Devin Haney knocking him out. I thought Devin Haney could win a unanimous decision. But if this turns out to be true, a suspension is imminent. But for Ryan Garcia, he needs to rearrange his circle and take some time off and get some help. He's talented. He's got everything going for him, endorsements, a a really good boxing record, potential of uh, the potential to become a great fighter, known as a great fighter. But this right here is something that can hold him back. Now, they said the day before he tested positive for Osterine the day before the fight. And uh, he has 10 days to request his B sample to be tested, in which, you know, that will confirm whatever the case may be. Now, his A sample tested positive for 19... Uh, let me figure out how to say this. 19 Nurenstrostone, however you say that word. But it's unconfirmed at this point. But the Osterine is what they say it is confirmed at this point. So that's two separate substances that are banned. Muscle growth substances that pr- promote muscle growth. Now, he denied all these claims via Twitter saying that he don't know where to get it. He's never even seen it. All lies, big lies. They're trying to bring me down. You know, once you once you um once you overcome all that stuff and, and, and through everything that they try to say about you, uh they stay they trying to bring me down. It's essentially what he's saying. Well let's keep it honest. If you tested positive on one, that means you or somebody in your camp, in your circle, knows where to get it and knew what they were doing. Or you could have an honest mistake. You know, I'll give the benefit of the doubt and we'll, we'll, we'll stay on the innocent until proven guilty side of things. Because we have, there was a similar situation with uh, Hannah Gabriels where um, she didn't know that there was uh, some banned substances in, in the cream that she was using 
um, to take care of uh, her, her dog uh, after her dog gave birth. Okay, cool. No problem. If you didn't know, you didn't know. But, you know, you got to serve your little suspension and then come back. And she's on her way back. You look at the situation with Alicia Baumgartner, sort of the similar same situation. Said a sample tested positive. She got suspended last summer after her fight with uh, Christina Leonardo too. And um, yeah, she, she had her little time of suspension, but she got cleared by the WBC. Now, the WBC, I believe, will handle this investigation because this fight was sanctioned by the WBC for the WBC super lightweight title, junior welterweight title. Sorry. But I want to know, what do you guys think about this? Think it's true? You think it kind of all adds up with the antics and him going out doing, you know, whatever before the fight partying and, you know, just living life and whatever. Or you think somebody is hooking up some lies on him. Let me know down in the comments, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Peace.